Hey guys, thank you so much for checking up on Graziel Arts. I am back uh, with another update. Um, I just got these stickers. Uh, if you recognize the Proton Pack and the Neutrino Wand, all of these are stickers that go on the Neutrino Wand and on the Proton Pack. So I already cut one out there just to see how it would fit. And um, my measurements were pretty good. Uh, they're a little off just by a little bit, but not that big of a deal. Um, so I just got these today. This was like $25. I did not make this. I got this off of eBay. And uh, they're really high quality, very detailed, glossy. Um, stickers that are going to go on the proton pack once it is finished so I got that I got that just now came in the mail 25 bucks free shipping totally worth it so I'm saving that I also got this this is what's going to go on the gun so like for example um this is a good time to show you the advancements i've made on the gun or the neutrino wand so this is a neutrino wand up here this is what i have so far this is what i have so far uh, most of it is already done the basic shape okay and the cool thing <coughs> is <coughs> I was able to, I found this really cool hose that fits perfectly onto the handle. This is a plastic hose that I got off of my uh, washing machine, believe it or not. I have a portable washing machine and it came with this extra hose that I don't use. And it is a perfect size and it's this rubber nozzle that fit in perfectly inside of this handle this PVC pipe and uh, if you look at the original Ghostbuster prop they have a hose similar to this but they put holes in it and they put holes in here and they put it to, they tied it with zip ties and it looks pretty shitty and that's uh, that's Hollywood you know that's Hollywood grade stuff and it looks pretty crappy and I think mine my idea worked out pretty freaking good and it looks so clean check that out it looks really clean and it looks like it was made for it and this hose of course it's white but I'm gonna go ahead and paint it once it's all black you know this is gonna look pretty badass so I've added the uh, box here that you guys saw I added this other box here and this cylinder right here uh, it just needs a little bit more sanding and the paint I can't wait for you guys to see that um, I went grocery shopping I think Sunday and I couldn't get any paint spent a lot of money on food Oh, yeah, I spent a lot of money on food. And, um, but I'm still working on this. So I just wanted to show you the updates. I think this is just, you know, it's just meant to be, you know? It was meant to be. When I found this holes and it fit perfectly in there, I'm like, God is helping me to make this happen. Okay? And as you can see, this is coming together pretty, pretty well. I'm gonna I, I, I want to paint it now but it just needs a little bit more work and once you guys see it painted that's where I really want to see how this is gonna look exactly like the neutrino want okay so yeah there's a hose I have to roll it up for now and uh, the thing is with these clips that I got this is gonna go under the gun so when I make the bottom part for the gun for the neutrino one this is gonna go stuck onto the bottom plate like that okay so and then this 
this right here, this is gonna go attached to the proton pack. So the way it works is that when I'm not using or posing with my neutrino wand, the bottom part of this is gonna clip on here like that. And it's gonna hold the neutrino wand to the proton pack, okay? Now, um, want to go ahead and show you the proton pack and the work I've done on there. Uh, before I do, I want to go ahead and show you the uh, advancement that I made to this. Now, I've shown you guys this before. This is the this is the harness that the proton pack is going to be attached to. Now, the original is not does not have these emergency lines on it that's my idea it is black just like this but i went ahead and went the extra mile and um i put this design on it because i thought it was super cool and it looks really really nice see that okay now i did this four years ago originally and it's still holding up uh, last year, when I had some money, I had added the straps. So I got the straps about a year ago, and I went ahead and put them on. Uh, these are the straps. And I had to see a video on YouTube to how to, you know, how to put them on, because there's like a special way to put them on. <clears throat> and uh, I got these off of an army store yeah I got this off on an army store they did not come with instructions so I had to go to YouTube to figure out how to get it tied in because it does go a specific way okay so I put those in there there's two of them um, so you just put it on like a backpack okay and then this one this is the kidney pad this is so that the metal back here won't stab you right at the waist. So this is a kidney pack. And this is, I got this separately. Um, so yeah, I kind of got everything separately. When I got this, I got this used from the Army Surplus store. Okay? And it was rusty. It was old. And I think somebody died on it because it had blood on it. And I didn't know it was used. I thought I was getting it new, but apparently, yeah, they, it was used. And uh, there was blood on it. It was pretty gross. But I cleaned it up. And I cleaned it up and I painted it. And then I put this uh, electric tape on here. And I went ahead and made that design all across the frame. Okay. And then... Uh, about two years after that, I went ahead and did this. I got the straps, finally. Okay, so those are the advancements that I wanted to show you guys. I just got this today. I got the stickers. Uh, I remembered I had that hose and I stuck it on there and it's it looks a lot cleaner than the original. I think that's really going to work out really well. Um, this is the neutrino one, unpainted, of course. Uh, but I'm going to paint it. I'm going to put the stickers on. And you're going to see that it's going to look super awesome. Now let's go ahead and show you the... The pack. So... This is... The pack. Okay. So let me get it into a little bit more light. So this is a pack. As you can see, as you can see, it has a lot of a roughness to it. But I've been sanding it down, getting everything covered that doesn't have uh, fiberglass, getting it covered with epoxy, uh, making all the shapes to it. See, it, it's, it looks a little rough right now, but I'm still sanding it. So <clears throat> giving it shape. Giving it life. 
Here's the back of it. You can see where the cardboard used to be. Okay. And then where the uh, epoxy has taken its place. Show you a little better down here. It's a little bit more solid. Uh, so I've just been spreading it, spreading it so that it's no longer cardboard. It's a, a hard, solid epoxy. There's still some areas that need epoxy. So I still have to do that. Give it a final sand down. Make it completely solid. But you see that I've been filling in a lot of the places. Still have to cut that off, make that look neat. But yeah, these are the, this is how far I've come in the advancements of the Proton Pack. And uh, when it comes to the clip, the clip is actually going to go, <coughs> this part is going to go right here. And see, this is where the measurements really count, because as you can see, these two ribs that I put on here fit perfectly with that. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect size. So that's going to get glued here. And then this is going to be attached to the bottom of this when that gets done. And then that hose is going to be connected right there. Once I finish getting it cleaned up and solid, and then I put the little plates up on here. Uh, yeah, that hose is going to go right in there. So just to show you what it's going to look like, this is going to be pointing down like that. It's going to be pointing down like that. And if you use your little imagination a little bit, you can see a proton pack. Tell me you don't see it. I see it. I see the potential. It's right there. Okay? So yes, it is coming together very slowly with a lot of efforts. Um... And, and see, that's why I'm showing you the comparison, because if you had seen this when I got it, this thing looked absolutely horrible. Absolutely freaking horrible. It was disgusting. But I cleaned it up, painted it, put a design on it that the originals do not have, and look how great it looks. Now, this, this, when this is completed, this is going to go mounted onto that. Okay. Right about there. Okay. You see, there it is. You can see it already. Um, yeah, between work and, and, well, work takes up a lot of my time. It really does. And, you know, I do have other stuff to do. Um, I do have a motorcycle that I ride that needs repair. And uh, <clears throat> that's been taking up a lot of my time and money as well. Uh, it is my only form of transportation. So that's why I have to work on it. And the other things have been getting left behind. But wanted to show you guys that things are moving forward. This is going to happen. I can feel it. If not this year for Halloween, it's going to get finished. This is the year, 2019. We're going to keep on going. So just wanted to go ahead and show you guys those updates. Let's see how the progress has been going. And uh, guys, let me know what you think. I mean, what do you think? Do you think it's going good? I think it's going bad. Uh, what do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. Does it look like a proton pack? Is it getting there? Are there any advancements? Do you think I'm going too slow? 
let me know. Thank you so much for checking back on Grozio Arts. Hope to see you soon. And like I said, if I don't finish by this Halloween, I will finish by this year. Uh, God willing, time and money permitting. Um, yeah, this is going to get done. I can feel it. Alright, thank you so much for checking back on Grozio Arts. I will see you guys later.